hello everyone um, thank you for joining me today if you're new here you haven't been to the channel before my name's Elia and my channel is a lifestyle channel so I do videos on various things I do sort of um, well anything to do with a home I do do hauls um, I do a bit of beauty I do some crafts DIYs um, a little bit of travel in there as well if I'm feeling adventurous <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I do a bit of everything. So if that's something that you think you'd be interested in, um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, just click the subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost anything. And if you do click the notification bell next to it, you'll be like reminded when I upload a video. Um, because if it's not clicked, you, you might not see the video, you know. Yeah, so today I thought I would um, show you what I use in my like, skincare um, routine. So like just for reference, my skin's like, it's it's quite normal, but it's normal it's sensitive because some products can really irritate. Um, and especially like around my eyes as well. Um, on seeing that, I can actually get away with using retinol. Now I could kind of explain about retinol, but um, I don't know if it's something that you'd be interested in, um, but I, c I could go like in more depth about it. Um, oh, do you know what? I probably might just cover it in this video, who knows? <laughs> Let's see how we go, eh? Um, so anyway, I'll start off with um, what I use to cleanse my skin. Now, on a non-makeup day, so that's a day where I haven't used any makeup um it's pretty 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 like basic you know it's it's pretty basic so all I will use is this now I have featured this before on my channel and it's like a, a kind of dupe for a fierce hair law um it's much cheaper than the fierce hair law I think the fierce hair laws is about 15 pound or something and I think you only get about one or possibly two but you get like three of these in a pack and you get these um actually i'll link the video you know to this so if you're interested you can have a look but basically i just i, I just use this you know if it's been a non-makeup dear you just use water you just wet this and yeah just use water so on a makeup day where I've like had a full face of makeup sort of like today you know I'm wearing foundation eyeshadow everything like that Um, I will use the Aldi hot cloth cleanser and um, this is actually like a dupe for the Liz Earl um, cleansing polish so this one comes in like different um, kinds you know there's like a vitamin C one uh, this is just the original one so it's it's relatively cheap I think it's about is it three ninety nine from Aldi? I'm really not sure. I can't remember. Um, so yes, I use this to cleanse my makeup off, and it just you know you just put it on and it just melts your makeup off, um, and then I just go over with this um, to to polish it off. Um, so I, I will wet that and then polish it off. So that's like my cleansing. Um, then I use the the Lacura toner. Well, do you know what? This is a new toner. Um, I've only I've only used it I think once, um, but I do just normally use a toner, you know, to, to remove the residue of any like, especially you know after I've been using this, um, you know you want to check that all the residue is removed from your face before you proceed to your next steps. So I just use a toner. You know you can use simple, simple is another nice one. Um, but yeah, I've bought I've bought this one to try. So next up, I use like. I'm just going to go through them They're in no particular order in how I use them. If you like us to go into a video, like a more in-depth video of, um, you know, which order I use the products in and how I apply them, I will do that. Um, but I'm just going to go through today's video of the actual products. Um, right, so first off, I use, I've got one missing. Oh! I've got one missing. I'll be back. I'm back. So um, the next product that I like to use is the Buffier by The Ordinary. Now this has been around for a long, long time now, the Buffier. I've been using this for quite a few years. I would say uh, maybe it's about five years I've been using this product. A good four. No, it's five. I've been using this for about five years. Um, yeah, it's just got all sorts of like skin friendly um, ingredients in here. So um, it's got like your peptides in, you know, 
it's going to turn into a science lesson this isn't it <laughs> sorry guys i will try not turn it into a science lesson <laughs> it's got peptides in peptides are really good <laughs> okay um the next thing i use is matrixel as well now in the buffet yeah, there is matrixel now this if there's um I know that there's three uh, different types of matrixel, and um, there might be more, but I know of three. Now, I think the three of them's in this product, but I do like matrixel. Matrixel is very good for your skin as well, um, and because that's like peptides. Um, so I use this one by The Ordinary. So it's the matrixel 10% with HA, which is hyaluronic acid. Um, and hyaluronic acid again is just brilliant for your skin you know you could you can't overdose your skin on that yeah so the next product i use is this resveratrol um it's resver resveratrol with ferulic acid so guys i use this one um the resveratrol because um i can't really get away with vitamin c it's just i've tried and tried i've tried a few different vitamin c's and i just cannot tolerate it my skin cannot tolerate it but i'm all right with this product and it's an antioxidant you know and it's it's still doing the same job this is the vitamin c uh, the only thing is with the vitamin c um if you've got any kind of high pigmentation the vitamin c will re help reduce that so where where this one won't but this is a really really good antioxidant um next i use lactic acid uh, they, this is the, the by the ordinary um so i use the ordinary uh lactic acid now this is the five percent with h here the hyaluronic acid um and i use this like to paint to paint my face that sounds really bad doesn't it <laughs> i use this to um exfoliate so you know you can you can exfoliate in different ways you can you can have like the granular exfoliants now i do like those oh there's a little bird in the plant pot oh, is... oh wow there's a quite a few e, i'm really sorry I, i'm going off on a tangent oh they're in the bird bath oh my god oh do you know what i just love seeing the birds in the garden and the bees and that uh sorry <laughs> getting back to this so yes the lactic acid guys um really really good i mean the as i was saying the granular ones are really good i do like them as well i, I don't know what it is but um with the granular ones you just feel like it's doing something you know i mean this does something but with a granular one you actually feel like you um you kind of feel like you're seeing an instant effect like after you've you know scrubbed it on your face and then you've taken it off um and your face looks like glowing doesn't it and um yes that it does instantly remove the um you know the what, dead skin cells <laughs> um but this one is like another way of doing it you know with a chemical um exfoliants like the chemical peels so all this does is you know as we get older our skin doesn't slow off the you know our skin doesn't shed like the dead skin cells as easily as it did when we were younger so that's why our like complexion looks like sort of I've, sometimes mine looks like it's got a grey palette to it um, and all it is is these horrible dead skin cells like glued on my face because um your oils and stuff as you get older start thickening up so them skin cells can't shed off your face as easily as they could when you were younger you know so you have to give them a helping hand so that's why it's so important for us like you know more mature ladies to exfoliate you know like in our youth we didn't have to worry about that did we guys but uh, now you know it's um it's just part of the skincare isn't it it's part of the aging and you have to just get rid of them nasty things you know you don't need them the dead <laughs> get rid <laughs> don't want dead things lying on your skin do you on your face so uh, yes you can do it like with the chemical peels now with this it does really really people can't 
pan notice that you're using this because I've had loads of comments, you know, when I've used it. Um, well, when I started using it, actually, not when I use it. Um, so when I started using it, Dave commented, you know, he said, oh, there's something different about your skin. It looks nice. And I thought, crikey, it must be good for a guy to notice it, you know, because guys never notice stuff like that. But my friends as well, you know, um, my friend Dee, when I went over her, she went, oh, your skin's lovely, what you've been using. And I, I told her, since I've been using the lactic acid, I've started using, like, the chemical peels instead. You can get out other acids, glycolic acids, and the one don't let the word acid put you off you know it's, it's not going to burn your face off it's not like a, um you know it's sulfuric acid <laughs> or an hydrochloric acid it's not going to burn you in anywhere um i mean there are really low percentages so yeah i use that so guys i use this product the ordinary um granactive retinoid five percent um in squalane so this um <coughs> You have to build up a tolerance to this, so you would start off using it sort of once a week and then increase it to twice a week. And your aim is to get up to using it daily, you know, but it can take a long time. Um, you can't peel with this, it's not as bad. Retinoid isn't as bad as like retinol because the ret retinoid's not as strong as retinol. So, tretinoin, which is like the prescription one, which you can only get off your doctor. Um, you know that's that's like its strongest for, form and that's used for people with like acne and um you know really bad skin conditions um to reverse like acne scarring and things like that i think that's when they discovered that retinol um was good in reversing the aging you know signs of aging uh, because they'd give it to acne patients and they noticed like an improved um condition not just in the acne but in like in the wrinkles and the lines in the, their face was like reduced so um yeah it's widely available now this one's from the ordinary um as i say you you want to build up a tolerance to it first before you start using it like daily um but it does help to reverse the signs of aging now this one i mean the all in dark like similar bottles um, and that's what keeps the costs down for the ordinary they're just basic bog standard bottles um so this is all about um sort of um preventing aging and this one's about um reversing aging so first off you want to try and prevent any more damage that's happened but if you want to try and reverse the lines without um using injectables then you know, you should be using like a, a retinol or a retinoid. Oh, okay. I hope you um, managed to digest all that. It has turned into a science lesson, as not it, guys? I'm really sorry. Can't help myself. Um, so, right, move on. Sunscreen. I'm almost out of this one. I do love this one. Now, sunscreen for me, I find um, some really, really, well, most really, really hard to use because they make my eyes water even more than they already do with my dry eye syndrome. So um, this is the only one where I can get away with, or, or, well, only one that I've found so far to date. So it's the um, La Roche Pores here and it's a factor 50. Um, so... Yeah, we put this on under your makeup and yeah, it's it doesn't irritate me at all. So it doesn't leave like any white residue on your face, you know, like some of them can leave you looking white. Um, this, not at all. It's really, really nice, gentle and does the job. So um, I get that from Boots, but the Super Drug and other places sell that. And um, the Ordinary, I carry it on. It's a cult beauty. I can't remember if it's called Beauty or Look Fantastic, but it's one of them websites. If you type in The Ordinary, it will come up. Um, right, so next, these are a recent purchase, actually, and I, I've not long been using this. But, um, you know, it's not causing me any irritation whatsoever, but it's the Caviar um, Collagen Pro Ferment Serum by Lacura by Aldi. So, yeah, I, I can't really report on the results as of yet but I haven't had any adverse re effects either. So all's going well uh, with that. So um, I bought the caviar eye cream as well. 
and I'm liking this because this isn't causing er any irritation and Craigie you know what I can't put anything next to my eyes they're so bad but this like with creams especially but um there was one that I was using before like um before I was using this and it was by um balance but it was by balance and I used it for a long long time and it was their snake venom eye cream now I didn't have any adverse effects with that either and it didn't cause any sensitivity around my eye you know in my eyes but this one doesn't either and this is a much thicker cream so it does feel quite nice after you've put it on so yeah I'm using that um at the minute next up um I use a, this now this is the reefer cream by the company reefer now this is like a Korean um skincare um a skin cream so there's all sorts of like nice stuff in this i did do it this feature this in my fab favorites if you want to check that video out i go into more like detail about it but it's absolutely lovely cream it's um it comes out as a cream but it applies like a gel it quickly absorbs into the skin it's for like all skin types as well and it's just got all the stuff in there i love you know what i look for in the moisturizing cream um and you know what I've had um like recently I had some micro needling done um like in the salon and you know with that after because I have retinol applied um and micro needled in and um like I did start to peel and obviously it's all red and so like well it, it, it's it's so it's like you've been sunburnt you know feels like you've been sunburnt your face so, and this is brilliant it's got like healing properties in it it really has um well it has because it's got niacinamide in and that's a he like helps in promote healing in skin and for acne and things like that but it's got all sorts in it like i see that video i will link it and i do believe at the time of doing this video um it's still on um community testing so you can you can pick this up for you know as little as a pound or free um you can you choose what you want to pay for it or you can pay nothing for it and but i will say it is getting shipped from america so um you you will have to pay like the postage which costs 10 pound but it's a massive tube you know it's um what's in here it's 100 mil you know so it's gonna last a little while i'm saying that look at <laughs> up for your down mine um but i have been using this quite well i've been using it every day and i did start to use it twice a day as well like morning and evening um but yeah it's got all your hyaluronic acids in and everything so I have a look at that video and um because i do go into more detail about it and uh as i say you can get it for nothing you know just like the postage and I will definitely say it's well worth the money. I think this is going to retail at about £22 when it does come on um, on sale. So, yeah, I think all they ask you to do is give some feedback. You know, they'll email you after you've purchased this, like, not immediately, but a few weeks later, you know, and ask you how you're getting on with it. And uh, that's all they want, really. And um, they're letting you have it for cheap or nothing because they just want the, they want the feedback. Don't worry, it's gone through all the testing procedures in the laboratory. You know, it's uh, very, very safe to use. All the ingredients are what we use in other skincare. Maybe not all in one cream, you know, but um, but in other creams, you know. Um, so nothing to be worried about there. And it's beautiful. It is a really hydrating cream. I, I do love this. So that I use that. Um, and next i use the kales cream as well the, um now I, I generally use this on the on the daytime and then i use the thicker kales cream on the evening um so it's the ultra facial cream um i can't remember where i bought this one from i really can't remember hmm it'll be off one of their beauty sites you know like cult beauty or whatever but um i do i do like it it, it is do you know what i'm going to show you the reefer cream and i'm going to show you the kales cream so you have an idea what what they like so that's the um the reefer cream 
and as you can see it just quickly disperses you know into your skin it's, it's really lovely it's really lightweight yeah it's great under makeup it doesn't um you know affect the application of your makeup at all uh, but this one the kale's cream as i say it is a thicker moisturizing cream i'll just pop a bit on my hand there and um, this does absorb nicely in the skin as well and as i say it's a more creamier this is more of a gel consistency where this is is a cream so that's why i like to wear it on an evening but um this pot is 50 ml and I, I only ever buy it when it's in the seal uh, so i wait for the seal and then i then i buy it but it's 27.50 for a 50 ml pot um you know where that one would be 22 pound if you were paying full price for it for 100 ml so you can see the comparison you're getting twice as much product in there um i'm not going to lie this is really nice cream but it does the price tag does reflect that so the criticism of this one is it's a pot you know and every time you open a pot you're exposing the product to the air so that's really not good you know it makes the product uh, not last as long you know i would say it's potency in that and there is like the fact that you know it could be contaminated by environmental factors but um that's the only criticism i have i, I would like this in a diff in something else you know um maybe it's in a tube like this would be really really good um because this one and this you've got no like th there's no way you're going to contaminate this product because it's it's encased into the tube and you're literally just wiping the top of the bo bottom this one um again like going into it um it's best to use like a spatula you know to get the product out what you want so you're not going in with your hands yeah so you're not going in with your hands and like with the risk of contamination in the product so yeah i did do beauty therapy so um i am a trained beauty therapist and nail technician and when we were training you know we had to, we could never just like go in a pot like that you had to use a spatula you know to take the product out um you know to avoid cross contamination so yeah that one's really really good as well uh, the only other thing that i use in my skincare is this and it's a derma roller like a micro needling derma roller so i'll just show you this so this is it yeah it's relatively cheap i think this was like 8.99 i think i bought it on ebay um, so you've got your different heads of rollers so this one is the one that I use on my face um, so yeah I just you know once once a week I've done roll my face um, and basically it's just, if you haven't seen these before they're just tiny 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 little needles and the puncture in the skin and what you do is you know you roll it off your face and um, it punctures your skin you your skin you, then you you use like a retinol or some kind of peptide that you want to get into your skin so this is just breaking the skin so the solution that you put on can get into the skin at the like into the dermis what you're aiming to do is boost the collagen so you want to like um trigger the fibroblasts to produce the collagen in your skin so collagen's like um you know the thing that makes our skin look plump and as we age we use we lose the collagen so um derma rolling can help restore that collagen because as you do that you know as you roll your face it's creating lots of like little injuries your body in its natural defense will want to heal that area so um it's it, it starts healing that area but it, it makes the uh, your collagen start to produce you know so um, that's the theory behind micro needling. Now I do my own at home, but um, I've just had a, a treatment done in the salon. It was my first ever treatment of micro needling. Um, I did, I did take my camera along and um, and video all that. But the micro needling, yeah, I'd definitely, definitely be having that done again. And um, I'm thinking about having the profile or treatment as well. So uh, if you want. If you want me to go into detail about them treatments so guys i hope this hasn't turned too much into a, like a science lesson 
um but yes if um if you do want me to you know show me how i micro a needle um or how, how i use the products in like which succession you know which ones i reply um you know because it is a layered um a, like a layered skincare routine um but i, I do find that like, with the ordinary you can customize it um you know to your skincare needs um so that's that's the best like the best thing about the ordinary you know the fact that it's customizable to your skin concerns and conditions but there is like a you know like a it, it, it is a layering effect you know on how to apply these so if you're interested you know just let me know below and i'd be happy to to go into that and show you how i at least do my skincare you know as always this video is not sponsored i've bought all of these myself you know you've probably seen them in holes and anywhere when i've uh, when i've bought them um but yeah the, i've not been gifted anything so if you've liked this video and you're not already subscribed please press the subscribe button um it would really help me out so all that's left for me to say is i hope you enjoy your evening and i hope you join me again on sunday's video so it's bye bye for now bye